Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for popping in today. I'm really glad that you've decided to come in and watch me learn how to pour paint. Today we're going to be messing around with some of the pigments that I made. Or no, I didn't make pigments, but I made paint out of pigment. Um, you'll have to go back a couple videos to see that. I think it's number 27 or something like that. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm playing with these pigments. They're still not my favorite colors, but I'm getting to learn the consistency of them and how they work, and I'm still using these flat panels as well for just practicing. So anyway, I'm going to get some colors ready, and we'll be right back. Thanks. Okay, are we good? So I'm trying something <clears throat> a little bit different today. Um, just with this, right? So I've taped off the back of my board, and then I broke one of these big popsicle sticks in half, and I taped it onto either side, thinking that this might help me with these little um, thin panels. I keep mucking up the sides of them, right? And they're just all blurry and gross. So I'm thinking this might help me to be able to tilt and... Um, mess with the panel a little bit more without having to touch the sides. So um, I'm doing a dip today and the colors I'm going to use are um, three of my pigment colors, the neon orange, the neon yellow, and the orange oxide. I'm going to use those three and then I have three of my deco art paints. It's the Hunter Green, the African Violet, and the Tropical Blue. I've got just a little bit of that left. So I'm going to get some white paint on here, and then I'm going to draw some patterns, and, um, and then we'll be back at the end when we're ready to dip. Enjoy the music.
Okay, so we've got something that vaguely resembles a flower <clears throat> down here, and we've got a piece of plastic that we're going to lay down over top of it, and this is just a, um, a piece of plastic from, I don't know, wrapped around something. It doesn't have to be any specific type of plastic. You can even, I've seen people using paper towels and um, plastic bags, uh, grocery bags, all kinds of stuff. So it doesn't really matter. The important thing is that you want it to touch down to your paint so that everything touches. I don't know about these colors. Like that, this still is outside of my comfort zone in this palette. Um that I've got going on here. I, I mixed up those pigments because they were colors that I don't normally use. And so if I ruined it the first time trying to work with pigments, I wasn't too concerned about it. It, it worked out fine. Um, and now I've got these colors that I don't, they're not my favorite colors, but I'm going to try and use them up anyway, because, you know, waste not, want not, right? And I know that just because I like certain colors, um, and it's not that I dislike these colors, it's just it doesn't, it's not my palette, right? But I know that for other people, it completely is their palette. So, anyway, I'm just trying to pat it down without moving my paint under here too much. You can feel it moving here. And when you're down on here, I don't imagine that you can see it from where you are, but when you're down on here, you can actually see the air bubbles. And so that makes it easier to get them out. I've got some big ones here in the center. I'm not sure if they're going away or not. I think they are. My paint is certainly adhering to them. <laughs> them out anyway. Okay, well, I think, I think here goes nothing. <laughs> Always hope for the best, right? Alrighty, so I'm going to grab from opposite corners. And lift. Oh my gosh, those colors look really nice together. Oh my goodness. And we'll lift from here. And let's grab from here. And get ready to catch any drips. Oh my. Oh, and I've got these little guys here, don't I? I can see a couple of spots where my white's a little bit heavy. I think I need to pop these bubbles before I go too much further. One thing I'm liking about these pigment colors is they really um, hold their own against the other colors, like they don't just turn into muddy mess, right? They really stand out and um, keep to themselves and they don't, maybe, maybe that's good, maybe that's bad. I mean, it seems to be good. <laughs> but then again, what do I know, right? You just want to stretch it a little bit. I'm going to go to this side first because the paint is kind of closest to that corner where I want it to go. Okay, and I'm going to bring it back to the center. <laughs> Wow, what do you think of those colors? Pretty wild, eh? <laughs> Let's go back to the middle again. Paint really isn't moving that much. 
Moving a little bit though. I'm going to move that into the center and then I'm just going to let it sit here and kind of level itself out for a few minutes and um, see what happens there. And I'm going to see if I can't get something to bring up some color right in here. Maybe if I blow on it a little bit. Careful. Well, there's really not anything under there, I don't think. Just don't want that big blodge of white there is all. Alright, so we're going to let that even itself out and we'll be back for a close-up. Oh my gosh, look at those colors. I am loving those pigments and they're playing very nicely with the deco art paints. And we're getting some cells in there a little bit. It's in that green. The orange, some people would love it. I'm not really a super huge fan of orange, never have been. Except in a sunset. Maybe I'll try and do a sunset one one of these days. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you've subscribed, and I hope you come back. If you have subscribed, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You make my day. Um, have a great one. Bye now.